Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my first video for a new game that I'm now playing for 10 hours. Uh, it's called Lost Ark. It's a very successful uh, Korean game. Uh, I think in Korea they got like 300,000 players every uh, day. And they did a very successful launch on Steam too. We can play it now in the Western world. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the game. And what I'm going to do with the game in the future. Uh, with videos and all that stuff. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about history. So I was for a long time, I think around... Seven to eight years, I was raid leader of a guild in uh, World of Warcraft. So uh, I played a long time uh, World of Warcraft, around 20 years or something. But at some point, I had enough of raid leading uh, and all the ammo and, and the garbage. And I was done with like online playing with other people. I still have that. Therefore, I always play solo in games or with my girlfriend. But I like MMOs. So the first thing that I did with Lost Ark, I wanted to check is the end game accessible for solo players and it seems it is. Uh, so therefore I started to play this game and I like Path of Exile a lot too, I like Diablo, this is uh, the same, it's, it's hack and slash the whole time. It's not that complicated as Path of Exile, it's a little bit slower too, that's what I like because you die so many times in Path of Exile and you don't even know what is going to happen. But this is like a, a good looking version with a very good end game, uh, so the end game starts at level 50, so I'm now level 14, but what I see of the end game it's very addictive and it's it's very cool. There is a lot of end game that you can do and you can do it solo. So my plan is to level it up to 50. Uh, I'm going to make some small tutorials too. Uh, not too big. If I see something that I don't understand or I think that's very difficult and I, I can't figure it out how it works. I make a small tutorial as I always do. I don't want to make like a very big video with everything in it because after five minutes people don't watch that anymore. Because if I search something I don't need a beginner's guide where everything is explained. No, I want about that subject a video and that's how it works. So let's talk a little bit about the game now. So what I'm going to show you guys is what is in the game and first we are going to start with the simple things of course i'm going to forget a lot of things because i'm now playing this game for what is it eight hours i don't know everything maybe five percent i only scratched like a little bit of, of of the game at the moment but i can show you guys already some things that i saw and what i think is very cool uh, so first of all uh, you got, of course, you got your character, you got some slots, uh, everything is here, but it always comes back, you got a helmet, uh, you got a chest, but don't expect, if you're a Path of Exile player, don't expect that it goes so deep as Path of Exile, that's not always a disadvantage, because sometimes a little bit easier is a little bit more fun too, so here you can see a chest, what does a chest got, physical defense, uh, magic defense strength and vitality i think may i think maybe later on it can go a little bit uh, further with the uh, with the stats because i think you can go to epic it's just uh, no to legendary so it's it's probably the same so you got common you got rare that's blue then you got epic and then it it's legendary that's uh, that's orange so it's always the same that comes back but that's not bad what is good you always can keep so you guys can see it here you got a lot of slots you got rings i think this is is trinkets maybe necklaces so that's really cool that's okay. Then you got the inventory. That's uh, normal too. Uh, the currency that they use here. You got silver and you got gold coins. Uh, you can see it here. If you pick something up. Uh, you can see right away that's an upgrade. Uh, I don't have upgrades now. But you see with, with an arrow up. That you see it's an upgrade. So it's a very simple system. But I think if you go a little bit further. It will go uh, a little bit more complicated than uh, yeah before. So that's the first thing. So just standard. Then another thing what is really cool. So you got a lot of spells. You guys can see it here. 
and uh, you can level the spells up so if you got a level up you can put points in it so now i got double slash i put four points in it uh, so every time that you level up and i still got one point here check this i just saw it so i forgot to put a point in it and uh, that's something very cool i will show you guys a little bit later how it works the fighting but the fighting is really cool you feel always overpowered you can hit stuff so hard you got a very big sword behind you that's typical asian i don't have a problem with it but i'm you can see it here check this sword yeah you can not see it now but this sword is like way too big and you just yeah, just drag it behind you the whole time, you guys will see it. But what is cool about this system is if you put a certain amount of points in an, an, in, in, a, in an attack or a skill, you can take other skills here too. So I took now this one, Enchanted Strike, uh, because my outgoing damage is 25% more. So you can just get your base attack, but then you with leveling it up, you can take other attacks that you just put on that attack and i think that you can make a shitload of combos that way i'm not sure how far you can go with it uh but uh yeah it's really cool it's really cool so then all the attacks you can put here on a nice hotkey uh, so you can see it here that's a r e and then you just need to push them the whole time you hit shit and uh, that's uh, that's really cool you got life you got mana you got like here um Keybinds too for your uh, HP flasks and all that stuff. Uh, that's really, really cool. Then another thing, you got pets. That's something that I like a lot. That's something that I miss in Path of Exile most of the time. Uh, so it's just picking up loot for you. So my white bunny here, it can pick loot up for me. You can... Uh, how can you say it? You can do so many things with the pets. Uh, so here is a pet trainer. So you can train your pets... Uh, you can give them other things that they can do. Uh, they can buff your stats and all that stuff. But you will figure it out by leveling. That's very cool in this game too. The leveling system and the questing is very simple. Uh, simple is not always bad. Because if you need to try to search NPC number 2577. And you cannot find them. You don't feel. For me leveling is always something that you need to do. But I never enjoy it. Uh, so you need to do it to come to the end game. And yeah, I don't enjoy that. But here it's simple. You just need to go to that embassy. You kill that stuff. And then it's done. But everything is nicely explained. So all the mechanics. So with the pets, this dude is going to explain it. He's going to give you a pet. So just follow the quest and you will get a pet. But I like it. Picks up loot for me. It's going to save me a lot of hours to do so another thing that is very cool you got the roster here too and i will show you guys this so if you go escape this was a little bit overwhelming for me uh, so you got the roster here and here you got titles you can claim the titles let's do this again because i misclicked uh yeah here you can no it's just to say what i just did uh, roster info here you can see it so you got a lot of things that you can claim they are going to buff you that's really cool so here you can see i'm at roster level 2 and i'm on combat level 14 uh, another thing that you can see here is your character i already showed you guys it uh, here the profile uh, so this was a little bit overwhelming because it was so much then adventure so what does that mean you can get stuff you can get a certain uh, band i'm not even sure that that's a right word so you can uh get get better with other npcs so by giving them flowers playing some music that's a part of of typical asian games too that's really cool uh, you got mounts too at the start i got this one so i put it here on a hotkey so you got right away a horse from the start so you can run around so there is so much in this game it's unbelievable but let's talk a little bit about end game i cannot talk uh, that much about end game because i'm still not in the end game i need to be level 50 but what i saw was there are a lot of dungeons that you can do and what i saw in a lot of videos is you got like three tiers of gear so tier one tier two tier three and if you look to your character here you see here an item level i see guys that got already uh, above thousand 
You can upgrade the item, uh, your gear. It takes some time uh, to upgrade it. But there is like so many things. You can do uh, Chaos Dungeons, I think it's called. You can do a cube, I think it's called. And most of them you can do solo. There is something like a Monster Hunt too. That you just go with the group. That's with the group. You go to an area. You need to find a monster. And you kill it. And then you get some things. There are dailies. There are weeklies. There is everything. It, it's too much the first time therefore it took some time to make this video because I need to take a book I need to write it down and even then I'm going to forget probably 50-60% of this game there is an auction house everything is here because this game is already out for three years so it's polished it's not a new game it's a new game in the west but it's polished that's uh, that's the thing and now I'm going to show you guys really quick to end the video a little bit of combat uh, so uh, let's have a look uh, because I want to go I still need to learn it a little bit so I need to do this and then I can do this teleport for 30 silver I blow on my horn that's really cool and then you can teleport and now we are going to an area that you can fight and now you will see that I got a very big sword behind me so here you can see it and this is typical so like this sword is way too big but it's really cool so and the battle system the combat system you need to have a look at this this is this is what i like you hit and you feel always overpowered at the end game it's going to be a little bit harder of course but at some point this is really fun it's a chill game really chill game here we go i can use this here we go again. Hopla. This is that again. Now we are going to use a very big spell. And you're so OP. The combat system is really cool. It's not that fast. I like that. So what can you do? You can hit stuff here. Then you go outside. Then you come here. You just dodge them a little bit. This is something I never can do in Path of Exile. Because Path of Exile, the bosses, they are like way too fast. But you can just go around, you dodge a little bit, you, you turn around and, and all that stuff. So that was it a little bit, guys. My first steps in Lost Ark. Uh, I'm going to level up. I read somewhere it's going to take around 12 to 15 uh, hours. Uh, what I read too is that uh, if you want to get to the best gear without paying real money, because you can pay real money in this game too, therefore it was very hard to get an account because I'm from Belgium but I worked a little bit my way around uh, but without just it's just free to play but if you want to go to the highest level it's going to take probably two and a half years uh, before you can do it so I can only say one thing if you can play it just make an account it's free to play check it out at the start it's a little bit slow but once that the pace picks up it's it's a very cool story uh, it looks good it's polished so just try it out if you like games like that and I want to thank you guys for watching the video bye bye